trail for it just came around and led into this so I don't know if I'm still on trail four and it just widened out or what so at this point I am lost oh here we go this is still a 50 inch but it's a lot wider than 50 inch <laughs> oh boy just got real, real deep real quick put in four wheel get it in low end up out here watch out for that one yeah there's some deep ones in here I believe I'm still on trail four but I definitely want to give a high score to trail four it's got some pretty challenging areas to it it's not a sit down on your seat type of trail that's for sure You'll just come into these every once in a while and they surprise you real quick how deep they are. It's fairly safe to say if you tried going through here with a sport quad I think you definitely have one heck of a challenge I mean I've been doing most of this in two-wheel drive on the Renegade but the high clearance has made a huge difference in my ability to keep on moving to this intersection so what a sigh of relief that indeed was four kind of coming up and around the loyal lake that's a fun route for a 50 inch trail i mean a lot of it has been widened i think people going through there on side by sides but it is still marked a 50 inch trail definitely worth it if you're on a utility quad so now i'm back to this intersection i'm gonna try to take it wait back around and if I still have a little bit of time left, maybe I'll come down and try this trail one again. Because I had made it out here, and then it looked like it came to a dead end, and I went back and followed out. So we'll see what happens. Otherwise, I uh, might just be wrapping it up for this particular trail ride itself. Uh, nothing like a melted metrics bar for a snack on the trail. Pack it in. Pack it out. All right, so I'm at this other intersection between uh, one, four, and I think this is the way that I want it to go. Sign here to Rockface Hill. It looks like somebody tagged it too. So let's check that out, see what's down this way. A little bit of a almost lake crossing this thing's huge there's a bypass but bypasses are for wussers uh oh Ooh, shoot. better 
put her in low again. Yeah. Should have wore the boots, dang it. Yeah, that's a couple feet deep. Watch out for that. It's almost too easy. <laughs> Moose Nemesis. Okay. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's rocky. Keep it in four. Lean forward. Well, might have been Moo's nemesis. It wasn't the Renegade's nemesis. So I know the camera's not going to do it justice, but there's a couple more little drop-off zones here. Let's see here. I think we can manage this. But it's a drop. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a drop. You see where people have scraped their bottom. Boulder crawling right away to dropping in the mud. Okay, easy, hard, okay. Oh yeah. Got my feet wet again. <laughs> did I mention make sure you bring your boots? Which I did not do. Seems like there's always one thing you forget on every trip. Oh, I'm 
still on some kind of a route. Jeepers. I think I'm back on the main route again. Four ninety two, whatever that is. two number one pins and that's actually where I want to be going to so let's follow this so in general these trails and routes are I think pretty well labeled I actually have yet to have to look back to my tracking software to see where I'm at I think I'm going to end up making it back without even needing to use it. Okay, yeah, I'm a dude riding around on a quad, but, you know, every once in a while you just got to stop and appreciate something like this. Just a couple wildflowers just growing where you wouldn't expect to see them. back to the intersection where we originally were starting just inside the main routes all together I think this took about three hours that's including me stopping and taking some footage here and there but there's your food sign to go back to the restaurant that's part of the Drummond Island Resort that there was a sign for a while back so this definitely is a good place to stay on the Drummond Island if you want to go riding right from it. It doesn't get much more convenient than that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check in next time. Thanks again for watching ATVG. Pins, bar, and grill in case you're coming back hungry.